give my pain to you. Lord, I give my heart to you. Oh, 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 oh. Today, I want to talk about, or continue to talk about, the other woman. God was wrapping it in my heart today and you know when he put it on my heart to talk about the other woman yesterday I was nervous uh, because that was the very thing that kept me living in fear and kept me living in shame that is one of the things that um, made me give up on music and it was the fear of people knowing my mistakes the fear of people knowing that I get weak too but I'm so glad that I did that video yesterday because I got a lot a good response and I got good feedback in my messages about people who it really helped and so I just thank God for it and today he was talking to me about the other woman and again and this video is not for nobody who is happy living their life and you know, don't want to hear truth. It's for those who want to change, those who want to do better, who want to make better choices in their life, um, who know that they're not right, <laughs> who know that they could be doing better concerning the choices they're making in their relationships, situationships. So, today God put it in my heart, Lord help me. You know, I pray for each and every person watching this video that you would just give me the right words to say at this moment and let them hear what they need to hear at this time because we are divinely guided. We thank you that they are the right place at the right time to hear what they need to hear to, 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 to better their lives. So, being the other woman or being the other man is all about validation. You know, we all have our own personal story of what we've been through, you know. But at the end of the day, we all long to be validated. We all long to feel important. We all long to feel loved and get, we just want to be loved. And some people's pain is deeper than others. But at the end of the day, We long for that validation and sometimes basically it goes down to learning how to fill your own cup, knowing how to validate yourself. When I was healing I remember listening to uh, Esther Hicks and when I was listening to Esther Hicks she was talking about, because I was trying to heal from heartbreak and she was talking about that feeling that you get from them, that feeling that you think that you can't get nowhere else but from them, you got to learn how to give that feeling to yourself. Because sometimes it's hard to let go of a person when you feel like this is the only place that I can get this feeling. This person makes me feel so good. They make me feel so good. And I don't know how to, without them, they become your drug because as I was doing research I learned that when you get in a relationship with somebody certain hormones are released the same hormones that are released when you do drugs watch P-O-R-N certain hormones are released into your bloodstream when you eat sugar certain hormones are released that creates an addiction to that thing and so, when you allow yourself to get in a toxic situationship where you know that person is taken or you know that you're taken, you have become addicted to them because of something that they're doing for you. You know, they validate you. They make you feel good. They make you feel special. You know, my daddy, whenever I go to his house, I love going to my daddy's house. And it's something about that entrance. He makes me feel like he's happy to see me every time I go in. When I open that door, oh, 
there go my baby. There go John. Look at Boo Boo. And it's something about his energy that I, I love to be around it and I crave to be around it because it makes me feel good. But you got to learn how to recognize that everything that's good to you ain't good for you. And so you got to look at yourself and say, you know what? I don't see my value. I don't see myself the way God made me to be. I don't see myself as a queen. I don't see myself as a princess. Some of y'all see yourself as second best. Some of y'all don't see yourself as first best, first choice. You see yourself as second best and you see them as the prize. It's something about them. You see them as the prize that you're getting. You don't see yourself as a prize that they're getting. And you see them as a prize It could be based on their how much money they make, what kind of car they drive. It could be just how they look. And you're like, oh, they 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 look like this and they want me. I must wow, it must be, you know, something about me. They want me. It could be the kind of car they drive. It could be they position, it could be their title, they could be them big cheeks, them big butt cheeks, it could be that flat stomach, it could be, you know, whatever they got going for them. You are happy. It makes you feel good to know that they got that going for them and they're interested in you. But at the end of the day, you gotta say, if you know they taking, or if you taking, and you want something outside of what you got going. You gotta look and say, okay, it's something within me. It's something within me that's making me either not have standards at all or to lower my standards to give in to this person, to allow them access into my energy. Cause I'm trying, I'm trying to do the right thing. I wanna do the right thing. And if you wanna do the right thing, first of all, you can't be given access nobody access if you know you're in a relationship or you in a marriage you can't be given access to your energy you cannot open up the doors to the enemy knowing that this is a weak spot for you they got their ring and you know they got a family that's a no no you got to set them boundaries up you got to kink in your armor and we got to work on that kink we got to fix that kink I ain't seeing myself the way I ain't feeling loved. I ain't feeling special. I ain't feeling whatever I need to feel at home. You need to get to communicating at home. And y'all need to be talking. Because you can't you can't have a relationship by yourself. It takes two. And if you're in a relationship where you can't talk, they're not trying to hear you, they're not validating you, then you need to reevaluate that relationship or that situation. If you're in a relationship where you don't feel important, and your words are not heard and your words are not valued. It's time to do some re-evaluating on what you, what kind of relationship you in. First of all. So, once you recognize, yes, yeah, something in me I need to work on how I see myself. I'm not seeing myself as the prize. I'm getting weak for these outside temptations because I see them as the prize. And I'm feeling special because they seeing some kind of interest in me. I got to work on me. You got to learn how to give yourself what you think they giving you. You got to learn how to validate yourself. You got to learn how to fill your own cup. You got to make time and deposit that knowledge into you. Go watch them YouTube videos. Get closer to God. Get you some scriptures. Get you some scriptures. Get you some books. And you got to start working on healing. Regardless of what your circumstance, your background is, or what kind of home you grew up in that didn't make you feel loved or valued, recognize that you got to heal and start working on healing and doing what you got to do. Next, you got to hold on, hold on. Next, you got to set them boundaries. If you're trying to change and you're trying to do better, you got to have it in your mind. If they got a ring on their finger, it's a no-no. If they got a relationship, that's a no-no. That's a no-no because guess what? None of it end well. It don't never end well. 
Because if they'll cheat with you, they'll cheat on you. So it ain't gonna never be no healthy relationship. It's gonna be toxicity. That's the truth. You gonna end up getting hurt. Or they gonna end up getting hurt. Or you gonna move on to the next toxic situation. And the pattern is just gonna repeat and gonna repeat and gonna repeat. And you steady fouling for other people's man or woman. Because you don't have self-love. And you don't see your value. And you don't know your value. But I'm here to tell you today that you matter. I don't care who made you feel like you did not matter. You matter. You are beautiful. You are special. You are smart. You are good enough. You are wise enough. You are not stupid. You are not dumb. So, God gives you your value. God gives you your value. You are already valuable when you got here. You didn't have to work for it. You didn't have to do nothing for it. Because you're here. Says that God wants you here for a reason. You're here for a reason. You're already valuable. He put you here. To fulfill a purpose. You're already valuable. You're already significant. You're already unique. You don't have to work for it. You don't have to have sex for it. You don't have to get on your back for it. You don't have to sex for it. If they're not giving you your attention, you don't have to send no nasty picture to say, hey, here I am, don't forget about me. You are already important. If they can't see your value, let them go. And they don't know their value, and they're looking to you to make them feel good too. Oh, y'all broken. I was broken. Was broken and I felt hopeless and so I settled for the bottom of the barrel but one day I say I'm tired of this I'm tired of feeling this pain I'm tired of craving for the drug of toxicity Lord how can I do this thing by myself without the, the, the assistance of a substance or a person how can I heal how can I be made whole Help me, Lord. Show me what to do. I'll do it. And that's why I'm doing this video because I didn't have what I'm doing right now. I didn't have that. But if this video coming across your page, this is God showing you that, hey, you might have made some mistakes, but you don't have to keep making the same mistakes. You matter. And you can have what I promised you. Just got to get some things in order. Got to do a clean sweep. And you got to trust God. God ain't no man that he should lie. If he say you can have it, you can have it. I want you to prosper and be in health even as your soul prosper. I know the plans that I have for you. I have good plans for you to give you a hope, a future, a expected end. I know. I know. I put you here. I know what I, I created you to do. So get in alignment. Get in position. It's going to hurt to let them go. Because you've been depending on this crutch. You've been, you've been depending on this drug for a long time. It's going to hurt. But it's going to save you. It's going to hurt. But you're going to get healed. It's going to hurt. But you're going to be better. Mentally. Emotionally. Physically. Gonna be going crazy when they leave your life no more because you know how to fill your own cup and you recognize this is poison to me. This ain't helping me, this is hurting me. I'm dependent and codependent upon them to the point where I am depressed and anxious and frustrated and crying myself to sleep because I know he laying in the bed with another woman. Anyway, you are valuable. Set the boundaries. Make up in your mind that I'm going to do it different now. All right, y'all. I don't know what God going to give me tomorrow or the next day, but this is what he gave me today. I hope it helped you. God bless you. I love you. God loves you.